Hmm. Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and we are, you know, getting real close to being done here. Uh, past and present, um, this is the quest that we're working on for Colony Lambda. Um, I'm pretty sure this is probably getting close to the end of the Colony Lambda quests. Then we have some Colony 30 stuff and some Colony Zero stuff. Um, other than that, we're going to have to hunt down whatever else might be around. Um, those are the only ones that I know of that need to be completed, but there might be some, some, some leftover rumors and stuff that we need to go through and get. So we're going to be checking that out soon as well, as well as exploring some areas that were higher level. Well, 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 if it isn't Colony Lambda and Izzard after all this time. I know you. We've got so much to catch up on, you and I. I thought we wiped you out last we met in battle. Our colony may have been destroyed by auto levs and all those fancy toys, but we survived. Nah, we couldn't die until we got our revenge on Colony Lambda. Wait, they can't be... They are. The best of Colony 13 come to finish their long vendetta with us. We tried starting a new life in a new colony, but it wasn't enough. It couldn't quench our hatred. You slaughtered our friends in Colony 13. The thought of avenging them against you is the only thing that's kept our flame clocks ticking. Of all the idiotic... The friends we've lost all because of your poisonous games. This is senseless. What point is there in letting your desire for revenge consume you? So these are the guys who originally attacked uh, their colony, which is what led to the death of... Um, uh, what, what was her name? Um, uh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. The one who's in the hidden colony now is a younger person. Shoot, what's her name? I can't remember. As if we care about that now. All we want now is to wipe Colony Lambda off the map. No point talking to a brick wall. You talk about our poison, we'll show you poison. Alright, these guys are probably pretty low level. I don't think we changed our level, right? So we're still level 99. Say goodbye, friends. Your life is mine. Well, that's them gone. I'll be honest, it doesn't feel great. Hmm. Still, we saw off the threat. Thanks for your quick, uh, thanks for your quick reflexes. All we did was fight. Everyone in Lambda did the real work. Heh, <laughs> well said. I'll thank them. Let's leave the cleanup to the team and get back to the commander's office. Time to head back to the okay. commander's office and debrief everyone. I do want to do that, but also, yep, we are still level 99. There's an area over here that I want to explore. So we are going to do that. You know, since we're here. Can we fight one of these umber drags on the way? I don't want to do this. My answer to that but question is way. yes. We can do it, no doubt about it. Oh, this is going to be one of those ones where we can't do our combos because it keeps pushing us away. Alright, let's get nice and close to him. Alright, 
God, that's so frustrating. I fucking hate that. Yeah, that's too far away. Okay, my controller's trying to screw me over again. Nothing new there. I think we're all used to it at this point. time we fought this guy down here. He, was, he took so long and he was so difficult. <laughs> now look at us go. Okay, so I think after we take this corner, they either move up to like 80s or 90s or something. So this is going to be a high level area right around this corner. Right? Yep, there they are. Okay. 91s. We're high enough level that these guys don't even want to fight us. I'm going to take a couple of them out. I think that there might actually be some gem materials with some of these guys, possibly. If I had to guess. The Cavern of Oblivion. Yeah, nothing to be concerned about with that name, right? None of his buddies wanted to get involved. They were like, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna set this one out. This one looking at me funny. Yeah, almost finished him there too. Oh, 
Okay, level 96 over here. Let's explore the area first, and then we'll, we'll maybe uh, try and fight that guy. You can never go wrong with Samitha. I'm certain we can take him. Something so valuable here. Doesn't mean some bullcrap can't get in our way. <laughs> like the last fight we tried to do. I hope we can make use of this. No problem now. It's kind of wild to think that, like, if you just bypass all of Sigiri's stuff, all of this stuff will just remain poison to you. down here. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Okay, we haven't found one of these in a long time, have we? Very cool. Okay, let's do it. Sweet, let's poke the Forgotten Trick Gate. Forgotten indeed, man. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh my god, there's a giant dragon in the middle. What the? 105? Oh my god. Oh my god. Can, I, can we sneak by him? <laughs> nope. Oh dear. Let's go. 
Um, no, we need to play Lance. <laughs> That's the only way we have a chance. Controlling. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna come back and do this some other time. I actually don't want to do this fight right now. It's gonna take forever too. Oh my goodness. At least here we have uh, Ouroboros, but... Not feeling particularly like I want to do that fight. Wasn't expecting that to be there. Um, let me check also, do I have a teleport back to this place? I do. Okay. Okay, there was a thing that we can... Uh, check out back there, point of interest. Alright, so now we've got two of those in these high-level areas that we can work on. And I bet you that those two are Ionios' strongest. You know that uh, rumor that we have like one of five of right now? I bet you that these two um, that we've run into here and over by the spring are some of those um, strongest. So, that's kind of cool. I wonder where we find the rest of those rumors, though. Um, Alright, for now, let's finish this quest, though. I know we've been lurching from crisis to crisis lately, but I want to thank you for your teamwork. You all managed to pull your own weight, and I'm thoroughly impressed. Guess so, we didn't have much alternative. It was that or end up in even more dire straits. As Captain Rosh said, there's, there wasn't much else we could do. We had to act for the sake of the colony. I'm the one who forestalled the orders. If there's a punishment to be borne, I'll bear it. I'm not accusing any of you of anything. I'm proud of you all. Actually, for, uh, I'm, I'm proud of you all, actually, for thinking on your feet. Call them nerds all you want, but they can walk the walk. And eh, not how I'd phrase it, but I'm with you. It sounds pretty spineless, but I think we gave up on thinking for ourselves. Maybe we just didn't want to be responsible, even for the important stuff. Koji's actions have really shaken things up. It's not a bad thing to advocate for change. We're going to make mistakes from time to time, but your decisions and actions are what will lead us to a new future. I wonder if the commander was quietly waiting for this opportunity to arise. If I keep on barking orders and enforcing rules, then ultimately nothing's going to change. If you want to change, you have to do it yourself. You all realize that, and that's why you were able to act as you did. Koji realized it before any of us, and he acted on it. 
Commander, can't we bring Koji back? He literally tried to get you all killed. I don't understand why you're all so forgiving of that. It's so weird to me. Like, what Koji did in order to quote-unquote enact change was literally to put all of your lives at risk of death. I don't know about that, man. I agree, if we can. Is that your collective opinion? His actions were wrong, no doubt, but it was Koji's words that kicked all of this off. I don't think anyone doubts that either. I can't deny it, we need to work together towards this new future. And we'll need his help for that. I see. That's settled then, as of now Koji can return to active duty, albeit stripped of his former position. He will however remain under close surveillance. Such behavior warrants harsh punishment. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Uh, I suppose second chances can be given. But still, like, I, they dismiss it so easily, but it's like, no, he literally could have gotten you all murdered. <laughs> Connie Lambda's changing. Let's see how it goes. This is all thanks to you. Not at all. You know the people of Colony Lambda managed this. You keep doing what you do, and I know you'll make something great. Oh, I intend to set it on the right path, yes. But the colony will continue to grow, by my hand or not. Alright, that seems like a pretty good uh, conclusion of their storyline here, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was the final mission we have here in Lambda. As Izzard expected, the colony has started to change. With less red tape to wrangle through, Lambda can now think and act for itself. Some relationships changed. Big responsibility. I see some relationships. Alright, we'll do a once over of Lambda to see if there are any new rumors. Thanks to you guys, a new path has opened up for Connie Lambda to walk. Hey, I think everyone was busting a gut for this. All we did was lend a hand. Well, in any case, thanks. I hope I can try to repay the favor someday, too. Fighting isn't exactly my strong suit, but call me up if you're ever in a tight spot, okay? I see some relations have changed. All right, Koji. You're not going to do something that stupid ever again, right? <laughs> Santa's, Santa's got my back. You better behave from now on, mister. Aw, oh, you lot. Uh, I hate that I had to rope you into all this, along with Lambda. For better or worse, your actions have shaped the future of Lambda. Oh, I didn't do squat, really. That was all you and the commander. So thank you. I'll work like a mutter to help everyone out from now on. I'm fucking better, bro. <laughs> what you did was fucked up. <laughs> you guys, you really showed us up. Hey, it's not like that. The flame clock is gone, but we were still trying to live the old way until now. I'm going to do what I can from now to find a way, a new way to live, I think. I'm certain you can do it, mate. Stick with it. We probably also need to go to Fort Oviribus. That's probably another uh, colony that we need to check in on and find new quests with. So the commander was waiting for us to change our way of thinking of our own accord. Yeah, that's how it seemed. And here we were, pushing off our responsibilities instead of doing their job. He's on another level, is our commander. We were so used to blindly receiving orders. Huh? Hear that? Hey you, you've really been crushing it lately. Oh, come off it. Only because I got so much help from you. I'll never forgo forget what you did for me. Just remember, Lambda's got your back. If anyone dares to take you on, they'll have to answer to us first. That's the least we can do. We owe it to Shijima and all of our fallen comrades. Huh. Okay, I think that's it here. Oh, you don't want to talk? Okay. You've been through a lot lately. Are you holding up okay, Tulgrim? Yeah, but I'm feeling it, you know? A weird sensation right in my chest. A weird sensation? What like, exactly? Well, ever since we started acting independently, Lambda's become like a whole different entity now. Changing things up without waiting for directions, it's actually kind of nice. Oh, for a second I thought it was anxiety. <laughs> okay, a little bit more positive than that, it sounds like. Okay, let's see if that has opened up anything here.
there's another prerequisite we might need before we can finish Doric. Ah, here we go. Finishing touches on Doric about to be applied, ho ho. Congrats on the job well done. Looking forward to the grand reveal. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm guessing there's nothing else, but we're still gonna go up here and check. Looks like we're good. All right, let's finish up Doric. We could do with some food. I think we need to discuss this. Valdi, mate, you look like the Ferris that got the cream. <laughs> That's because Doric is finally complete. What? Only just. I'm so pleased for you. Yep. Rapapa's going to orchestrate the grand unveiling. He's truly chuffed. You're gonna be there too, right? You help so much salvaging materials. Yeah, sure. Nice, okay. He said the unveiling would take place in the Terra Wastelands. We'll be there. Can't wait to see Doric strutting his stuff at last. The final cog. All right. Yeah, this is what I was talking about with Ionios' strongest. I'm betting that... Uh, some of those quote-unquote strongest are those over 100 uniques that we've been running into. Where to from here? I don't know why I think I'm going to run here, because I'm clearly not going to. <laughs> we are not running all the way there. We have unlocked all these fast travel points for a reason. Oh man, they've really gone and done it now. Thanks, I'm just gonna steal your shit. Sorry for, uh... Sorry for the fact that you fell over, but, uh, your shit's mine now. Deal with it. You're level 20, I'm level 99. You can't do shit about it. Am I a monster? Yes, I am. You all knew that. Dude, he got a new paint job, too. Looks badass. Okay, Izzard and uh, Alex are here to watch as well. That's pretty cool. Here I am. Valdi, they're not here to see you. <laughs> Start us soon. Yep. Uh, good luck, Mecha friend. Oh yeah, I forget. Technically, Mecha friend is the pilot. Thanks to everyone's hard work, Doric is complete at last. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. And I'm chuffed at how many friends I've made along the way. I hope Doric can make just as many. Let's see how he does, shall we? Yes, Buddy Blaster ready. And fire!
think it worked. Doric? Uh oh. Ah! Watch out! Doric, why? Mecha friend, why? But how? Do we have a traitor in our midst? One of the people who was helping out? Is Doric out of control? Everyone, evacuate. Mecha friend? Mecha friend, what's going on? How could this happen? Everyone who was here was a friend. Mecha friend, stop. Go ho 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 ho. Finally this day come. You. Really? Pooly pooly, you son of a... He was the one who also had a crush on Dame Alex, right? So you're a little fucking creep, and you're a traitor bastard. I've never wanted to kill a bird egg shaped thing more in my life. It not matter now what you say. Mecha friend is not friend of friend anymore. Man, 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 what you done to Mecha friend? Pooly Pooly only makes small adjustment to system. Now is Pooly Pooly friend. Genius of Pooly Pooly is capable of do anything. Pooly Pooly defeats you and bring joy to Alexandria. Uh, I, I don't know. I think she's finally gotten over that shit, if I'm being honest. Due to simping a little too hard. Pooly Pooly pulls string behind scene to plan this for a long time. He hadn't given up on his lunacy after all. Pretty sure Alexandria never asked for any of this. You lot cast Pooly Pooly aside and become such good good friends of Alexandria. Even though Pooly Pooly works so hard, Pooly Pooly not let you get away with this. Only Pooly Pooly allowed to be friend of Alex. Alright, we're just gonna have to kick your ass now, bro. Deflector field! 
Oh my gosh, the amount of damage that does is stupid. I love it. I absolutely love it. Increases TP by 50 if the enemy is machine type, so you don't have to actually end with it. over 200 do oh yeah and he gets the bonus 50 so of course he does <laughs> this isn't the end. that is a big fat yes sir indeed I just thought of a great idea. I use my thinking muscles this is our last one damage. That was so much damage. Let's finish him too. Baldi.
Did Mechafren shield him? I think he did. What in the... Valdi? Oh, Mecha friend. Again? Poor Mecha friend. Are you okay? I think Mecha friend protected him from the worst of the blast. But Mecha friend doesn't look too good. Doric also entirely broken. Oh. You helped me so many times, Mecha friend. So, I. I won't let it end like this. We'll give you a hand with Doric, too. Lance. We'll help, too, Commander. Yeah, if we leave it to you, I'm sure it's just a matter of time before everything gets out of hand. Thanks, guys. And just where do you think you're going? Meh? Alex? Isn't there someone you have something to say to? Yeah, you owe Valdi an apology. Meh? Meh? Meh, Puli Puli refuse. Puli Puli try and try, but it not go right. Alexandria only like Valdi and others. Puli Puli wish Puli Puli just disappear. Meh, meh, meh. Kick him. Punt him. Hey, Pooly Pooly. You aren't hurt, are you? You're too kind for your own good, dude. That dude needs to be exiled or some shit. You only wanted to be friends with everyone, didn't you? But you can't do it that way. Someone could get hurt. What faulty no? Pooly Pooly is nobody. That why nobody take notice of Pooly Pooly if Pooly Pooly not work hard. I took notice. Meh? I mean, your methods were not particularly great, but you're pretty good with Elevenus. You're not a nobody, you're valuable. You're just your own worst enemy. Meh? But Bully Bully do only failures, Faldi not angry? I mess things up all the time. Look at what happened this time, and I've broken Mecha Friend more times than I can count. But you know, failures always come with an afterwards. I got to build Doric. I got to make a lot of friends. I can do a lot more than I could before, thanks to everyone's help. That's all connected to what's happened now. Failure teaches you things. So I don't want you to give up, Puli Puli. Valdi. Let's try again. I want to build a world where people and Levenuses can live in harmony. But it'll take a long time if I try to do it alone. It'd be a lot easier if you'd help me out, would you? Your colony is full of traitorous Nopon, dude. Good. There's still plenty more I can do. And with the rest of you helping, we can aim even higher. Okay, first order of business is fixing up Mecha Friend. Time to pick up all those parts, people. Despite Puli Puli's underhanded wrecking of Doric and Mecha Friend, the bonds of trust within Colony 30 are now deeper than ever. Back to work. I see some relations have changed. Okay, nobody has max ranked. Alright. I think that might have been the last one, but who knows? There could be another one after this. Are we really that close to the five star? Look at that right now. It looks like it's full, doesn't it? Listen, keep this between you and me, but after we settled on Doric's reconstruction, Yuzet started to pitch in with the material collection. Oh, so Yuzet was helping. He's really thoughtful and great at what he does. Even though we're about the same age, he's really a put together person. I hope I can be more like him. I see some relations have changed. Puli Puli's in the midst of ancient and serious chastisement for Naughty Naughty Napon. I heard cruelty of this punishment is most horrid and beyond imagination, but Puli Puli seemed to be having much fun, which which would like to have a try too. Sorry, what? <laughs> Valdi's really full of pep. He's talented and a good kid to boot. 
It's a real tragedy to me that he and the others like him will be gone in a few short years. I just can't accept that it's normal. You've got to promise me you'll smash Mobius, alright? Yeah, we got it. Pooly Pooly break door, thereby earning enmity of Dinky Dinky. But Dinky Dinky subsequently hear that breaking done in defense of beloved and important objects, thereby dissipating rage. It wasn't so long ago that the only thing the commander ever wanted to talk about was Levinus's. He started to pay much more attention to every aspect of Colony 30 now. It's almost like he's a real commander. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but that's kind of a weird way to put it. <laughs> Is it, though? It's not. It's not, Zuza. Not on way of life is mostly just of what pop into head. See, Mimi and friends work very hard at taking life very, very easy, for example. When fighting in Ionios, done and dusted, see me, me and friends carry on lifestyles as nature intend. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is the punishment? Alright, very, very similar to another Nopon punishment we saw in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I wanted to charge right in with Elevenus in the battle against Mobius, but the commander has other ideas. He reckons that if Doric is there, there's no need for us to be fighting and getting injured. So that's his plan, go into battle on his own. That doesn't sit well with me. Maybe I can talk it over with him. Meh meh meh, Pooly Pooly can do it. Pooly Pooly will make mighty contribution to Colony 30. Well look, they don't need uh, ether cylinders anymore because Pooly Pooly is generating all the electricity they need. You and Pooly Pooly are really getting on well, huh, Mecha Friend? I'm glad. If you're getting jealous, maybe I'll fix you up so you can come with us next time. Doric need rebuilding from ground up. Will take much time and painstaking, but surely possible to put back together. Colony 30 not only blessed with Rapapa, but have Gambart and Shino too. With so many hands on projects, surely be done in no time flat. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Good luck, mate. I see some relations have changed. What Valdi's doing is helping out a lot of people, I think. Whatever happens, I want to keep doing what I can to support him for however long I can. Come on, stop with that. But I mean. Thanks, Yuzet. Alright. I think Colony 30 is coming to a close here. I think we're done. Alright. Very cool. Very, very cool. So. We do have some new quests, which are probably going to help us finish out... Oh, that's for Lambda. Okay. It's looking complete. We just have to Yeah, we're just going to get those ones off of our list. That's all of them. Okay, and then the other ones we can't use Napon coins for, unfortunately. Um, but let's see. Let's find Colony 30 stuff. Okay, that one's worth a lot. That's all of them. Is that enough? Ooh, two of them are very close. Two of them are very, very close. Okay. I think the other one was probably Lambda. It's looking complete. It's looking complete. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Colony 30's done. 
And with that in mind, let's go and check. I think Colony Lambda was the other one that was really, really close. Um, I think we've done all of their quests, but let's go ahead and run through their camp one more time. And if they are completely done, I will also um, do whatever I need to do to finish out Incredible. their... Ooh, they Maybe have a little bit more. They have a little bit more on their affinity. Yeah, uh, good luck with that. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. This is going to be our last hero quest is Sagiri's. Three of these that we have left are all Nopon Caravan stuff. Yeah, I think Dame Alex's birthday stuff was the last stuff for her colony. Oh, 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 wait. I see you. Spoke too soon. This is why we gotta double check. So like, I've been seeing different requests coming in from the same requester. Wait, are the messages all in a sequence? Oh, so that's how you're meant to read it. Collectopedia 2.0. So there's even another one somewhere around that we need to collect. All right, where are these rumors at? Where are they at? There we go. Have you seen this Collectopedia card? I have, I have. Whoever thought to use it to send messages around is a genius. We have cell phones now, ladies and gentlemen. SMS activated. Better make sure we're well rested. Let's lay out the facts. Everyone's going on about Collectopedia cards, aren't they? They're an absolute hit, as you can see. I could shed a little tear, I'm so moved. It's still possible to game the system by choking off the supply and making a monopoly of it. More and more swindlers have started to do just that. Sequoia and I are trying to work out how to keep them in check. Are you getting anywhere with that? Not particularly. No matter how thorough we are, we can't predict every possible move they'll make. And even if we could, there'd be a limit to what we could do. Not even Colony Iota can keep an eye on all of Ionios. Can't imagine Sequoia's happy about it. Correct, it's been mentally taxing to say the least. And still, there's no end in sight. But you're not just turning a blind eye to it, right? You're working hard to change things, even if it's difficult. Oh, don't think such noble things of me. I'd just rather not live in a world where such unorthodox measures can flourish. See? That's right. There is why Sequoia sticks around with you. And so will we. Let's get to the point. What can we help you with? You really... Alexandria, are you... crying? No, dust. It, it's dust in my eyes. I'll look into the matter immediately. Let's go and visit Sequoia. Okay, bearing fruit. Let's keep things on a tight list. I see some relations have changed. All right. I'm not crying. It's just She's not crying, guys. It's just us. Something in my eye, all right? Don't you think it's about time for a meal? I'm not crying. It's just something in my eye, all right? Okay. Sorry I upset you. But I'm glad you're feeling better now. So, we're going to end this episode here, and we're going to pick up on this quest in the next one. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.
I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, Chris Murphy, JW, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.